Hey everybody, Aaron here. Thought I'd take an opportunity to uh, record a little video uh, about something that uh, I'm frequently asked about, uh, especially by people who know that I work uh, in water treatment and know how, uh, just on a personal level, how particular I am about the water I drink and, um, and those who know that I make kombucha, also about the uh, water that I make my kombucha with. I've noticed over the last few years there's been uh, more of a growing trend towards people being concerned with uh, the things that they put in their body, uh, the food that they eat, um, people you know, avoiding GMO and eating more local and less meat and going as far as vegetarian and vegan, people being uh, more concerned about the, the, air, the air that they breathe you know, and uh, concerns about smoking and, and things like that and people also be concerned with uh, the water that they drink and I think that this is a a very important concern because uh, water is something that uh, we take in in considerable quantities uh, compared to everything else. This is something that we take in the most. It is something you should take in the most uh, and it's something that does the most for us. Um, and unfortunately we do know that uh, our uh, water bodies are not necessarily as clean as they used to be um, due to uh, industrial um, applications and you know pesticides and you know runoff and all these things um, so our water is not as clean as it necessarily used to be and so um, even though we do have excellent water treatment uh, systems uh, throughout North America especially in the city that I live in um, I have utmost faith in our water treatment but uh, on a personal level I want my water to be a little bit cleaner um, and especially for me when I started brewing kombucha I was buying RO and distilled water and so it just made more sense for me to get a system myself and so um, I got this system on Amazon uh, this RO system is made by Express Water uh, it is an American company I believe all the parts are American made um, and they are of great quality I've had this RO system for about a year and a half now um, and I love it. I think that uh, it works great. I've had no real leaks. You can see I don't even have the leak, um, the leak protector uh, unit installed, which does come with uh, the kit, but uh, I actually just found it took up a little bit of space and so I don't have it installed. Um, but yeah, when I was first uh, putting the system together, there was a few um, things that were just a touch leaky and so I just needed to use a little bit more of the uh, the uh, plumber's tape, the Teflon tape and just snug up some of the filters and since then I haven't had any leaks and so um, you can see this, this right here is the RO system itself and this is the tank. Um, you can see that I actually have um, this line here and this is the line that I actually um, use to pour out my RO water instead of using a uh, a faucet up on top even though again that did come included in the kit um, but I personally live in an apartment and because I did not want any issues for my landlord when I eventually move out um, I didn't want to modify the sink drilling through it so um, that was one reason to have just the line remain down here as well as since I uh, as I said I make kombucha um, it's just not convenient for me there it's not convenient for me to uh, fill up four liter jugs from my sink so this is just much more convenient for me I can just I can just take this and put it over whatever I need to fill and and uh, go ahead and fill it um, <clears throat> so as I said I've had this system for a year and a half uh, the bottom three filters here the recommendation is six months you replace them and then the top two filters up here are uh, about one year um, I at the six month mark I changed out these three filters and then at the one year mark I just started checking my water a little bit more regularly uh, with the TDS meter um, just checking the dissolved solids and once it got uh, regularly above 10 then I changed out all my filters and uh, and I've been about four months on all fresh filters and it's running great um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the f the the RO system and how it filters and uh, and how it works so first of all you have um, your first filter right here that is your uh, your sediment filter um, the filter media is made of layered pro polypropylene micro thread um, and the pore size for that is uh, five microns 
And what that filter is going to do is that's going to essentially filter out any any sort of solids that um, are in your your pipes, um, so that it doesn't plug up any of your filters later on. Um, it's kind of like your bulk filter relative to everything else that's uh, probably in your finished water. Next filter here is your uh, granular activated carbon. Um, that granular activated carbon has a pore size of five microns and uh, that's going to filter out a lot of um, a lot of stuff in your water that would cause any taste and odor issues and it's essentially going to precondition the water for the the next filter the third filter here which is your pre-carbon filter now um, this this filter and this one here they have the filter media is made of the same material although it's in a different form this is granular activated carbon and this is a carbon block and uh, both of those are made of uh, coconut husk carbon um, and they are going to remove um, any organics and anything that causes taste and odor and uh, any chlorine um, anything like that next it actually comes around it's kind of hard to see and then it comes up into here which this is your RO filter itself um, the filter is in the housing same as all these filters the filter is inside the housing and uh, that has a, f a pore size of one ten thousandth of a micron. And so that is really where a lot of the, the real work is being done in uh, your RO system. Um, that is going to pull out any fluoride and heavy metal and aluminum and uh, pesticides and lead and anything you don't want in your water um, and more. It's essentially going to pull everything out of the water and uh, can reduce, uh, I know I've measured sometimes my TDS is as high as, you know, five, 600 out coming out of my tap and I have it coming out um, out of my tank at around 10. Um, and so that is a huge reduction in just overall uh, dissolved solids. Um, and, uh, and so that's why the water tastes and looks so uh, clean and clear. Um, so after that RO filter, it's then gonna go um, it goes around back again through a check valve, which essentially, um, based on your municipal uh, system's pressure, it's just going to control when the when the system is actually filtering water versus when it's just kind of standing and uh, in standby. Um, anyway, it goes through that check valve and then around into that yellow yellow line, and the yellow line feeds into my tank here. And so this tank um, is a, a double walled tank. It's got a uh, air bladder in the bottom, um, and that is set to a, uh, a, a preset pressure from the manufacturer. It's recommended that you don't change or adjust it. Um, and what that does is that actually controls the, not only the capacity, but the pressure that is within uh, your tank. Um, and so according to the manufacturer, this tank has a capacity of about three gallons. Uh, I find myself, I get probably closer to two, two and a half gallons. Um, you probably do get three full gallons out of it, but uh, that last half a gallon would be coming out at such a s slow flow rate and essentially no pressure that um, I would just shut off the system right there and let it fill back up. Um, so when you're ready to, to actually pour the water out and drink it or use it for whatever um, you need it for, um, you would either open up your tap up top or you would open up, in my case, this uh, valve down here and then the water would come back out through the yellow line and into your post activated carbon filter. And again, what that's gonna do is that's just gonna um, freshen up your water again, remove anything remaining that could cause any potential taste or odor issues. And that is gonna give you such a fine, clean tasting glass of water. And so uh, I have a glass here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a glass, show you what it looks like when I do it. So I just use my valve here, my line on there, and I just uh, open it up and fill either my glass or I fill my water bottle or my jug um, or whatever it is I need to uh, use the water for. I also like to use this water um, for when I'm washing my vegetables. That way there's no chlorine um, and there's nothing that cause, could cause any potential uh, taste or odor or any THMs um, when I'm washing my vegetables. All right guys, so as promised, I'm just going to uh, do a quick test with this uh, portable TDS meter, uh, total dissolved solids. Um, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna show you exactly how much the RO system removed um, as a whole. And so on the left, 
we have just tap water here and then this is filtered water from my express water unit so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on it's at zero stick it in this glass here I don't know if you can see that but it says 243 244 246 okay quite high I've actually seen it higher let's check Look at that, express water, 0 0.07, 0 0.08, under 10, I'd say, there you go, 0 0.07, under 10, I'd say that's good enough. Um, I've done a few tests, a few other tests to exactly see how much, uh, say, fluoride and aluminum and other things are in there, um, and it is essentially zero, so it is good to, good to go, safe to drink.